So it is Tuesday, the 12th of April, 2022. Time for another mandala. This time I am going to carry on with this gorgeous herringbone kind of shape anyway. Um, it's going to be about 60 centimetres in diameter. So that's that marked out. I am looking at dark yellows and this is my centerpiece and crockery like a bit of Kathy Winkle there, Kathy Winkle and then gorgeousness, maybe a little pop of orange, lots of yellows, a little bit of kiln craft which I'm going to repurpose from another mosaic and embellissement. So I've got some nice embellissement some creams and golds and of course the tiles so it's gonna be a nice contrast i've got a bit of black and white i might i might use that so a little bit of texture as well so this is what i'm thinking i do like this part of the project when i'm sort of bimbling and playing and figuring out what to do next so here we go here we go next mandala on the way see you soon bye So it is Thursday the 14th of April 2022 and I've properly surprised myself because I completed my mellow yellow mandala in two days flat. Uh, finished yesterday at 5pm more or less and today I'm ready to install an adir onto the wall. So as you can see it's quite zingy that bright yellow zings really lovely against the mustard and I've used that colourway all the way through with a little bit of um, crockery and etc and especially that central bit I really like so that will brighten up the area very nicely so um, I'm going to measure it up on the wall bring it downstairs and install it see you soon So friends, as you know, I have just applied the Bow Max Flex Fibre external grade tile adhesive onto the wall and carded it with my notch trowel. Time to put the mosaic up. So I've already marked where north is and marked T for top. 
on this one. So I just need him to. There you go. Quick as you like. And then with a float, squeeze and press it into place like so. So the mosaic itself took me two days to do. Applying it onto the wall takes what? Start to finish, I don't know, five minutes to mix about two big pots of tile adhesive with water to make a thick paste. And then quick as you like, job done. I'm squeezing it on so that it is completely adhered to. And there's still some tile adhesive left. I don't know if I need it actually. Um, I have to think, where can I put it? Always good to have a little bit extra just in case you might need it for something. But actually, this is working out really well. I might actually put some bits and bobs in between in the in between all the areas actually so that might work so there you go there you have it here it is just put a close up to this can you see so you can see it's oozy oozy but not too oozy that it overflows over the tessera. But it's just right. So I'm going to clean up the edges because there's ooziness all the way around here. And let it cure for a day. And then tomorrow I'll grout it in my favourite chocolate brown grout. And then <laughs> on to the next one. I'm thinking of a blue and white crockery one, quite a large one there. Uh, you can see the lines. You can see the line there, the orange, red line there. So that will be the next one. Anyway, speak to you soon. Bye. Okay, friends, it's Friday the 15th of April. Good Friday. Good Friday. So, um... I'm going to grout this today and I'm going to use my Mappe Ultra Colour Plus 144 chocolate. So I am going to get going with this now and uh, yeah, see you soon. <laughs>